Hmm. What do we have here? I just sent them an email yesterday saying, dudes, where is my game? I mean, I ordered my game ages ago. Where's my game? Don't you guys love me? Don't you, uh, don't you care about me? And sure enough, here it is. And you know what I think? Here's what I think. Oh, <laughs> are you worried? Don't be worried. It's a Cortex map. You can do that to a Cortex map. But now I need a cloth to wipe it up. That was dumb. If ever you buy this off me, this map off me, not that you probably will, you'll know that I used my sock to get this off. Hey, you know what? That's awesome. Look at that. It just swipes right off. Fantastic. Okay, let's do a shrink rip. I thought that would just be fun because I didn't actually order the Gore-Tex map. Uh, this is, a, I guess, a little uh, thank you from uh, Vento Nuovo Games. It's very nice of them. And in the, uh, in the, in the uh, package was also, uh, these are setup charts for uh, blocks in the east. And so you just, uh, you can actually, um, well, you could probably even play on these actually if you wanted to. But you could use these to just uh, use uh, for scenario setup charts so you can see exactly where everything goes block by block for all the different scenarios. There's Kursk 43, Embargoration, and Dortmund 41. And this is Fall Blau over here. Really nice, really nice. So that was a, a little bonus extra as well. I hadn't actually ordered those, but I'm glad they came. And of course we got the big monster sized super large Gore-Tex can't be destroyed map. And uh, another another little freebie here which is uh, an updated uh, updated Gore-Tex map that I, I guess I don't have. I'm not sure if I have it or not. I think it's the West Front. Yeah, West Front. <clears throat> okay, blocks in the West. So let's have a look at this. And you know what, I'm going to move this uh, this map here, and we'll just look at, the, at this game. Focus on this. Uh, wow, it's super, super heavy. I don't know what the heck is in this. Get this out of the way. I'm really not doing a very good job, am I, fellas? There we go. All right. Nice box art. I like it. Shiny, high gloss box. And here's, a, here's a, another thing I've noticed about Vento Nuovo games that I don't think I've ever mentioned before, but they take the time to actually, uh, well actually they don't take the time. They pay the extra to have the box uh, white lined on the inside. Doesn't it look nice compared to the standard, uh, let's see here. Here's a, another game that will remain nameless. Here's the, well actually they have, they did that too. Okay. Many companies do that, some don't. <laughs> and we won't even show the other box. Let's focus in on this. Okay, so Moscow 41, if you don't know, it's a World War II game, duh, set uh, about the uh, famous or infamous battle for Moscow in 41. It's kind of the uh, tail end of the drive uh, from uh, Operation Barbarossa and uh, all very powerful moving stuff, lots of activity and action in the game. We have tons of blocks, of course. Some discs for measuring and monitoring and tracking. Some other extra blocks that I don't know what are for. And more blocks and more dice and things. Ah, <clears throat> I think in the Kickstarter, you had an option to choose uh, a variety of add-ons or maybe they came with, I I'm not 100% certain. It's been a while. Uh, since I looked at the Kickstarter. One thing I will say, you know, I was bitching about the, the uh, game not arriving. Here's why. Uh, I, because I received a shipping notice 10 days ago. Not because the game's late. The game is early. This is the first Kickstarter I've ever received that was early. These guys, and I, I, they only have two or three, four employees. I think three employees. They're doing amazing things. Now, whether you uh, like the games or not, whether you 
buy the games or not, you, we should, I think, at the very least, be supportive of the level of effort that goes in here, the attention to detail, and the desire to exceed expectations. That's probably one of the things I like most about this company. Uh, besides the besides the uh, desire to create interesting and uh, different games, and not uh, you know, and not being afraid of uh, you know this sort of this sort of artwork on occasion. You saw the other, you saw this artwork, right? You've, this is this is very different style from this. Uh, th there's a lot of exploration and experimentation going on, and the end results are fantastic. So. You know, I haven't even really got into looking at this game yet, but let's have a look. So, look, there's some Kickstarter stuff. Let's come, um, yeah, let's look at this first. All right, this might end up being a long video. Sorry if it is. So this is just, I think this is gonna be, oh, I know what this is, okay. Uh, so here we have just a, uh, uh, a kind of an overview, historical background on the two dictators. I have not read it, haven't proofread anything here, have not seen the rules, haven't done anything with this game whatsoever. Uh, so it'll probably be awesome. Um, so this map, I think, is supposed to be just the, this is where they derived the game map from. Yeah, this is, a, this is going in a frame. Look at that bad boy. I'll try and hold this up so you can see it. So this is the actual operational map they used. It's a reprint, obviously, with a little bit of logo attachment. Uh, there's a legend on the top left-hand side there. Let's see what that says. Okay, so it's all in German. That's great. Okay, so we've got uh, progress lines there. July, September, uh, troop numbers, and other bits and pieces. So. I'll have a detailed look at this later on. If I see something awesome on it that we need to take a squiz at, we will. Runs from Kursk to Moscow over here, and then just up to the you know the, the southern part of the the lakes here that lead on to Leningrad. Really nice, very interesting. We'll be popping that into a frame that looks very cool. So there's that. There's, uh, oh, okay, historical notes and strategic guide. Okay, so lots of, uh, lots of notes here. Okay, pretty cool. I'll, I'll have a read of this again. Uh, as I said, I'll have a read of all this stuff. Come back to you with some further thoughts and comments, and you know, let you know whether you, it's worth uh, grabbing in the. Because uh, uh, I think you can buy all these things uh, discreetly online now. I'm not sure. Maybe you can't. Maybe it only came with Kickstarter. Because uh, I, I just ordered the base game. I was uh, having a little uh, fiscal responsibility mojo going on there, so I decided to uh, only order the base game, but. Um, okay, so the, but the game comes with a mounted map and uh, the cardboard flex laminated map as well. And I wanted to show you the map because I think it's uh, I think it's uh, pretty attractive. It's reminiscent of the uh, the color scheme for Waterloo 200. Same. Uh, iconography here, you know, to uh, let us know information. I don't know what these things stand for. These were defensive values. That may be something completely different for this game. Uh, we've also got setup uh, layout on the map as well. But it's a pretty attractive looking package. Moscow to Kursk. Ron is on the corner over there. So, um, and notice uh, this is on the uh, eastern side of the river over here too. Uh, and there's a reason for that. We'll get into that later. Uh, Smolensk. So we've got a lot of a lot of a uh, lot of stuff going on here, and I am uh, pretty excited about getting to play this game. It'll be fun. Um, so this is the this is laminated, so it's water resistant, waterproof perhaps. 
And then the, uh, this, this board is protected as well, I believe. And this is the rule book, which has the stickers inside it. Components, defensive lines, that's what those, uh, those cubes are for. Can you see that okay, fellas? Ladies and germs. Initiative disc weather, weather markers, river attack markers, all your, your standard good old stuff. Um, I don't think the, yeah, I can't show you the uh, Richard Point flags that, uh, I think these, were, these are probably uh, Kickstarter or only, Kickstarter special only. I think you had to order them specifically. I don't know if they came with the game or not. I don't see them here, I don't think. Nope, no big deal, okay. And the layout of these rules is pretty nice too. Uh, I, I can't talk to you about the quality and the, of the writing or the clarity of the, of the writing for the rules. It has been a minor issue in the past, but uh, I, I think things are continue to improve. Moscow, Moscow. Uh, Waterloo 200 was a significant improvement over over uh, blocks in the east, which uh, had its little share of issues, and obviously blocks in the west and blocks in Africa were incremental improvements uh, on that as well. Um, so I'm sure this will be great. We'll get into the detail of all of this at some point in the, the near future. Do want to try and get to playing this pretty quickly. Here's our uh, stickers. And I don't know what this is. Setup chart? No, nope, just a description chart. Sequence of play. Impulse phase, final phase, combat sequence. All right. This is a reinforcement tracks for each. Uh, two scenarios, so Typhoon and, uh, well, this is just called Road to Moscow, I guess. You gotta deal with me when I'm, uh, when I'm rolling this stuff out live and I haven't had a chance to do any homework. I, I, like I said, I know nothing about this game other than uh, I saw a prototype of it early on. Uh, I've not played or anything like that, but uh, this is a pretty comprehensive rule book. What are we at? 17 pages in large fonts, lots of pictures and examples. Hopefully everything will be clear as mud for us. There's two scenarios here by the looks of it. Three scenarios and a campaign game. Okay, fantastic. Look, a fantastic looking set of Stickers, counters, seem to be an awful lot of counters and not an awful lot of stickers. Are you with me here? It must be extra for some reason. I'm not going to go into it right now, but uh, also there might be another set of stickers somewhere in the, in the packaging. Let's see. Nope, 147. PVC stickers. Maybe they're out. They are all here. I guess they could be 140 here. Okay, excellent. Look at that fantastic package of goodies. We got two maps come with the game. We got the historical background. We've got the uh, military map that it was all taken from. That was the the genesis of the idea, the concepts, uh, rivals and leaders, uh, armed forces comparison. Lovely box, content, good bits and pieces. Really excited about it. Hope you guys enjoy your copy. We'll uh, try and get to this just as soon as we can. Uh, I'm in the middle of a couple of games right now. So once we clear the deck, we'll certainly put this up on the table and we'll have a look at Moscow 41. So there you go. There's a quick little look inside the box. Take care.